At the end of this video, you're going to have a hook that can really grab the admissions committee. Welcome back to your essay ride along with me. I'm Hillary, division supervisor at Vanguard College Prep, and I've assisted students in getting into quite a variety of schools. And I have seen many, many essays along the way. So in our second installation of working on your narrative essay only in videos, we're going to talk about the hook and the Common App essay prompts. When you write your hook, you want to be catching the admissions officer's attention as quickly as possible. You know these admissions officers are looking at thousands of students' applications, right? They're going through these applications as quickly as they can. So your hook of your narrative essay, those first few sentences, needs to grab them as efficiently as possible. And today we're going to talk about how to do that. If you remember from my last video, we talked about different facts about ourselves and how to find a good topic. For example, I came up with topics such as crocheting, my medical history, and also training my reactive dog. I am going to work on training my reactive dog today. I think that'll make a really good essay. You could write hooks for all of the topics that you have and kind of see where you're at, but at the end of the video we will talk about what specifically to look for in your topic and how to connect it to the Common App essay prompts. But we're gonna write our hooks first. The hook is called a hook because it's like a fish hook. When you're out fishing, you have a hook on your line, you put something nice on it, and then it gets that fish when they bite onto it, right? And you're gonna do the same thing with the admissions committee. They're all your fish, and you're gonna catch them. <laughs> to ensure that you are capturing the admissions committee's attention in those first couple of sentences, here are some things you shouldn't do. You shouldn't use a general summary of an experience. You want to use specifics. You want to very, be very clear about the sensory details. You want to frame it like a movie scene. Imagine yourself in that moment and tell me what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're smelling, if applicable. Um, and also, I want to know what emotions you're feeling in that moment. I want to just be grabbed by caring about you as the protagonist of this story. Another thing you should stay away from is using quotes from famous people as your hook. That is not about you. These narrative essays or personal statements need to be about you as an individual. What you could do instead is start your essay with some dialogue between the characters. So characters in your narrative essay would be you or the other people that are involved in the story you're telling in your essay, although of course you want to focus on yourself. Don't use a quote from a famous person, but you can use dialogue from yourself. You'll also want to stay away from repeating platitudes or old adages, pieces of wisdom to begin your essay. Those are kind of boring at this point, right? If you mention one, then people have already probably heard it before. You can, though, start with a surprising statement or a little-known fact that relates to your topic. If your topic, like mine, is about dog training, maybe I could start with a fact about reactive dogs. You can also use a single statement that's interesting or surprising, something that will just, the admissions officer will go, oh, and then continue reading. Getting into a few example hooks, I'm going to read you two examples from really fantastic essays that we've had in the past. The one I'm going to start with, the student actually got into Harvard, Yale, and Brown with this essay. Rats. They were my Achilles heel, the chink in my garden's armor. One morning, I went outside to find heaps of shredded tomato guts languishing where my juicy, plump tomatoes once thrived. Tomato carnage was everywhere, leaking from the soil beds, coagulating behind the pool heater, and splayed against the wooden gates at the yard's edge. Sure enough, lining the damp wood was all the evidence I needed rat excrement. I did what any reasonable admiral would do. On December 4th, 2019, I launched my attack. Obviously, this is a pretty weird hook, right? It's about rats. It's about rat poo. But it catches the admissions officer's attention. It clearly worked very well since he got into three Ivy League universities. And he followed it up with info about intellectual curiosity um, and his own problem-solving abilities. So it turned out to be a really wonderful essay. One of your focuses when you're thinking about your hook today is when you write your hook, you want to see if your topic has the ability to grab people, if it has sensory information that's going to be interesting to people who are reading it, or if it has, and, if it has emotional depth. Clearly there's a lot of emotion here. When the student was talking about the rats in his garden, he cares deeply about his tomatoes, right? He doesn't want the tomatoes to the tomatoes. He doesn't want the rats to eat all of the tomatoes, right? Okay, here's another example. 
For two months of my life, I lived the life of a Netflix character. In Never Have I Ever, Davy, an Indian American girl, suddenly loses the use of her legs while swimming. To most viewers, this was just another outlandish scene in a show known for irreverent comedy. For me, this was the first time that I felt seen on American television. I was Davy, except instead of swimming, I was lying in bed, waking up on a perfectly normal, sunny day, unable to feel my legs. And there was absolutely nothing funny about it. This hook utilizes the single statement that's interesting or surprising to first grab the admissions officer's attention in saying that they were a Netflix character, right? And then to immediately follow that up with a lot of emotion. In that first paragraph, we already care about this student and about what they went through. So these are the kinds of things you're going to aim for in your hook. So let's get into that. Pull up a Google Doc, a Word document, or pull out your notebook, and we are going to spend five minutes writing a hook. And remember, you can use a single statement that's interesting or surprising. You can start with dialogue. You can start with facts. Or you can start with sensory details, really a descriptive scene of what's happening in the hook. Your hook only needs to be two to five sentences long. It doesn't need to be very large at all, probably not more than three. I'm going to give us five minutes to write this hook, okay? Ready with your document? Let's go.
There's our timer. Set that really weird. There's our timer. Our timer. Okay, I hope that went well for everyone. If not, you can pause and continue to write. Um, if you want to write hooks for all of your topics, all the topics that you've selected for potential ideas, I would actually watch to the end of the video so that you get an idea of what you need to look for and then go back and write those two or however many extra hooks. Here's the hook that I wrote. And remember, I'm writing about training my reactive dog. So this is a moment of reactivity from my dog early on in the process. Reactive dogs are not aggressive. I pull back on the leash, my dog lunging toward a border collie walking by. He's having a harder time than I am, I remind myself as he barks incessantly at a woman walking on the asphalt path by our house. Part of the reason this might catch the admissions officer's attention, obviously I've used the fact um, here, or it could also be considered a surprising statement for people who think that reactive dogs are simply aggressive dogs. So in that case, it might come across as a surprising statement. But either way, it is going to continue on to be a little bit surprising because I say reactive dogs aren't aggressive and then I talk about my dog lunging, my dog barking, right? Which comes across as aggressive behavior to people who aren't familiar with dog reactivity. So that's my hook. Not very long, as you can tell. It's a simple thing to write. Now that we've written a hook and we've already thought through our potential topics, we've written this hook, we're going to talk about the Common App essay prompts and choose which one that we are going to work with. The reason I waited until now is because I didn't want the goals of the prompts to get in the way of your brainstorming, right? So now that we have topics, that we know what's important to us, we can find a framework to fit them in using those Common App prompts. The Common Application, which most of you will probably be using, has seven prompts and I'm going to put them on the screen here. Now, take a moment to look through those prompts and think what fits the hook that you have written? What fits the topic and how you've conceptualized it in your mind? How you've been thinking about this topic? What fits most? I'm going to look at them as well. We'll just take a moment to do that. So when I am writing about training my reactive dog, the one that jumps out to me the most is of course number two, because training a reactive dog is a challenge. Training any dog is a challenge, right? And in the process, there are setbacks, there are failures, right? Um, and then I could talk about how that affected me and what I learned from the experience of training my dog. Another one that might work is number five, discussing an accomplishment that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of myself or others. Now, the reason I'm leaning away from this particularly is because I want to talk about the process of training, not what happened after the training in my own personal growth, right? You will want to notice here with these seven prompts, all of them, except for number seven, which is just a catch-all prompt, they're all looking for growth and internal change from you as the applicant. Because colleges want to know, how have you grown? How are you going to continue to grow, right? Um, if you've been able to showcase your growth in this essay, they'll know that you are likely to be quite a good applicant for their school because obviously students do a lot of growing in their time at college, right? You're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to meet a lot of new people, a lot of different people perhaps than you've met before. So they want to know that you are capable of growth. They want to hear about your personal characteristics, which is what we're focusing on in this essay. I would love to hear the topics that you guys have chosen. I would love to see your hooks. Um, feel free to drop any of that in the comments. I would just, I would just absolutely love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, I'm excited to see how my essay turns out because this is obviously I am an adult now. I'm basically rewriting a college essay. I'm excited to see what I come up with now that I'm later on in my life. And I really am excited to see how this turns out for you guys. In two weeks, I will be posting a video on how to write the next section of your essay. In two weeks, we will be writing that next section, talking about how to make it really stand out to the admissions committee. All right, I'll see you then.